What up, Aries? All right, guys, so I'm a little late on getting your love readings out. I do apologize, but shit happens sometimes, but we're here. We're going to do it. So let's get to it. Now, uh, this is going to be your October love read. We're going to do a past, present, and future. Now, before, I used to do a general full reading, a singles reading, and a couples reading. Right now, I'm just going to do general energy, so I'm just going to pull five cards. So this is the energy for anybody who is of the side of Aries, okay, just to see what's going on. And then I'll do singles and couples for those who do want a timestamp, okay? And as a reminder, guys, I will be in New York uh, in about 10 days now. So I'll be in New York uh, the 26th and the 27th doing a meet and greet event for anybody who does want to come out. I will be in White Plains, New York, which is in Westchester County. But I'll leave the link below so you guys can take a look at that. So basically what the ticket will get you is a one-hour meet and greet slot with me. So I'll read your cards. We just chill see what's going on, all right? Okay, guys. What is the general energy for the sign of Aries for October? Okay. So the energy that you guys have is the four of cups in the reverse. So with the four of cups in the reverse, there's an offer being accepted here. Whether you're giving the offer or someone's giving it to you, it is being accepted. Now, the first card we have here is the Four of Swords in the reverse. So this is this is being in a place where you might have been thinking about your options, your next move, what you want to do, and now you're ready. You know, you've thought this out. You're ready to move forward with this, and you're doing it with strength. For some of you, maybe you're dealing with a Leo, but, you know, you're moving on from a situation, maybe something that requires strength to move on from. Uh, you know, maybe some of you were in a third-party situation, or maybe for others of you, this is just you guys being happy that there's a situation that you're moving on from. We do have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse and the Knight of Pentacles here. So you guys could have been dealing with an Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Uh, but it seems that for some of you, it could have been a third-party situation where you're dropping one person and moving on from the situation, or maybe you move on from a situation that it was just a victory moving on from it, and you're slowly moving on either to someone else or just moving out of the situation just in general. But let's get into the actual readings and see what's happening. All right, let's do singles first. See what's going on for all single Aries in love for the month of October. What is happening for single Aries for the month of October? All right. Few more shuffles and let's put this back. Okay. Put up space ball. I'm oh, sorry if you guys see my cat going absolutely nuts in the background. Okay. Alright, so let's see what we're working with here. Okay. The energy you guys have is a queen of swords in reverse. So for some of you, it could have been an air sign you were dealing with, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. But with the queen of swords in reverse, this is the energy of somebody who's in a situation that's already bad to begin with, but they kind of make it worse with how they think towards the situation, what they say towards the situation, or how they act in that situation. And we do have the Empress card in reverse followed by the Four of Cups. So here there may have been a situation where maybe you wanted to start something with someone, but something happened here that delayed that start, or someone could be super upset about the situation, okay? We have the Queen of Cups in the reverse, so, you know, emotional instability, Ace of Swords in the reverse, conflict, okay? But it might seem like something that you're just trying to get over, and although you feel lost, it's just something that you're trying to get out of with the Five of Pentacles here. So let's see what's going to happen. The first card you guys have for the past is the Temperance card. So with Temperance card, you know, you're feeling balanced. You're trying to be balanced in whatever situation you're dealing with. You have the Six of Cups in the reverse. So with the Six of Cups in the reverse, one of two things is happening here. Either you're reconciling with somebody that you um, have seen in the past in a romantic way, or this could be you trying to part ways amicably with someone. Okay, Ace of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, you could have been separating or severing ties with someone that you had been dealing with. We have the Eight of uh, Wands in the reverse, so someone definitely got cut off here, whether it was you guys or the other person. Hanged man in the reverse, the situation that you have to move on from. 
possibly a third party situation here. Okay? Too much arguing, not seeing eye to eye. We have the Three of Cups in the reverse, Three of Pentacles in the reverse. So things uh, could have just, shit could have just hit the fan because of this third party situation. Um, and if it's not a third party situation, the Three of Cups in the reverse could also be extreme isolation. So you could have stopped talking to someone and just completely withdrew yourself like 110%. Now, the next card you guys have for your past is the Tower card. So with the Tower card, you know, this is a major arcana telling you that there's going to be a huge or telling you that there is a huge change in your life. Now, with the Tower card, uh, I always see it as like a 180 degree change in your life. It could be for the better. It could be for the worse. But what's important to know about this card is, especially with it being a, a major arcana, if there was a change maybe that you didn't want to make with this, it's going to happen. The universe is just pushing for it. So something drastically changed with you guys, whether it was your will or not. Again, we have this Queen of Swords in the reverse, so it could be you guys or the other person that you're dealing with that's just very um, upset and angry, okay, because of something, again, that did not go through, something that did not start, an offer that was not taken. Now, the next card you have here is the High Priestess. This is for your present moment. So the High Priestess, you guys have to keep in mind, you know, with this card showing up, this is this is confirmation that everything that's happening, you know, you have good intuition. The high priestess is all knowing. The things that she feels in her gut are the things that are probably right. And I say it all the time that, you know, a lot of people, if they have a bad feeling towards somebody, they want proof. They want to see text messages. They want to see pictures. They want confirmation. And my thing is, if somebody makes you feel off, if you think somebody else is going out doing, you know, grimy shit or, you know, just lurking in the shadows doing things that you wouldn't approve of, that's enough. You don't need to check. You don't need to follow them. You don't need to be all up in their phone saying, what are you doing? What are you doing? The fact that you feel uncomfortable, the fact that you don't feel right, you got to move away from that. It doesn't matter if they're doing it or not. You just, you don't trust the person. Why be with someone you don't trust? All right. Page of Cups. So there's love coming in. It could be from a water sign, um, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. But you have the Eight of Cups. So you intuitively know that there's someone that you have to turn your back on. But I think that there is new love coming in. Yeah, we have a very, very strong water presence here. All right. Now the next card you guys have is the Page of Pentacles. With the Page of Pentacles, you guys are slowly building. Okay, what's the one? Slowly moving forward. It could be an Earth energy too. And this is something you do feel very good about. Okay, but it's it's like that, I feel like it's that gray area, and this is happening with legit every single sign uh, this month, where you're kind of bummed out about what you had to walk away from, but you're also happy to where you're going towards, and there's conflict, you're going into this new thing, and it could be conflict, and maybe the conflict is the fact that you might have not let that person from the past go 100%, and you're starting something new. So, again, that gray area where you're kind of in transition, but you could, because I'm saying this only because it's your energy, you could look bad to one or two of these people if that's the case because they're going to be like, okay, well, hold on. You're talking to more than one person. Although you are walking away from somebody, um, you know, maybe there's just that slight overlap where you're having both people, okay? Now, the next card you guys have for your present moment is the Eight of Pentacles. So, with the Eight of Pentacles, you're really working on this new thing that's coming in for you. Knight of Swords. So with the Knight of Swords, you're focused. You're cutting out what's not serving you. You're focused on, you know, what you think is going to be good for you. And wow, wish fulfillment. So for some of you, you guys can be going towards a water sign. I see a lot of earth energy. I, honestly, I see every element here. So I want to see this more as you really moving away from a situation that just wasn't working out for you for whichever reason. And now you're working on something that you're like, yeah, this is good. You know, this is something I've been wanting. But again, you're coming from that unstable place. So make sure that you, if, if this is the case, if it's a transition from one person to the other, make sure there's a clear cut, okay? Give yourself at least like a week to mourn, you know, what happened in the past just so that, uh, you know, you're not getting these energies all mixed up and it's kind of like having three people in the same room, although the others may not be aware of the other, okay? That's the best way I can uh, explain it. Now, moving forward into the future, we have the King of Swords, so... Yeah, a very strong air energy here as well. 
With the King of Swords, this is somebody who can emotionally detach themselves from a situation that's not good for them, and they can focus on what is to come. Okay, so we still have this intense focus, and I feel like you guys may just be very cold towards that person that you walk away from or who walk away from you, but there's conflict here. Okay, you still feel conflicted about it, although you're cold against it. And it's like, either you're choosing not to go back to it with the Three of Wands in the reverse, or maybe you did not want to walk away from this person, but you knew that you had to, and you knew that it was something that just was not going to happen, okay? And you knew that you had to leave this in order to find stability here. Now, the next card we have is the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, so... You know, there's going to be that point. I'm sorry, I don't know if I just said past just now. This is the first reading today, so I might be a little loopy. Okay. Um, what I meant to say was, you know, in the future, there's going to be a time where you're kind of at a standstill. You're not really making any movement forward. Or if for the few of you that may be talking to an earth energy, maybe they're going to be stagnant for a bit because of whatever conflict that may have um, risen. But there is going to be balance here. I feel like that's just you guys or the other person that you're dealing with regrouping in a sense. Okay? Because there's conflict here. You guys are finding balance, but I see it. I don't see it as anything too heavy. Um, I just see it as you kind of duking it out with another person. Trying to find this balance. Trying to find that middle ground. Getting everything out on the table. What do you like? What don't you like? You know, how can we move forward from this situation? But you do. You have the death card here. So there's a complete change. Something is ending here and something new is starting. The full card. New start. Unmarked territory. All right? And it might happen so fast that you feel like it's out of your control, but the choice has been made. You guys definitely choose one person and you keep moving forward. Okay? Yeah, for sure. You got the two of pentacles behind that and the ace of pentacles. So it's exactly what I said. You're leaving somebody behind in order to start something new. Whatever is starting, it could be with an earth energy, but this is something that has um, it has the potential to be very long-term. You're just still not over the person from the past, and you're unhappy about that fallout that you had with them. Okay? Focus on the future. Focus on moving forward. Whatever you guys have in your future, it does seem like it's going to work out for you. At least for the energies that it has now, okay? All right, so Aries couples. Let's see what's going on. What is going on with Aries couples? What is going on with Aries? Past, present, and future for the month of October. All right. Death card in the reverse popped out, so maybe there's a situation that you're having a hard time moving on from. Ooh. These cards keep popping up. Maybe there is a betrayal and it's hard to move away. All right. Let's see what's going on here because these cards are ready to talk. All right, Aries couples, the cards are eager to hear what's going on with you or to show what's going on with you, rather. There goes that death card in the reverse. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. So there could be a little bit of arguments this one. We have the Two of Cups in the reverse. So with the Two of Cups in the reverse, I don't think it's anything too heavy. I think that it's just you and your partner arguing about stuff. But behind it, with the Three of Pentacles, you are trying to build things back up. And there could be a sense of, do I stay, do I go? But you know that this is something that's emotionally fulfilling for you and something that you want to manifest. But there could just be a bump in the road that's leaving you guys a little bit unbalanced right now. I don't see it as anything that's too heavy that's going to lead to a breakup. I honestly just see it as arguing. But let's see what's going on. So the first card you guys have for your past is the death card in the reverse. Again, uh, you know, holding on to a situation that should have ended. Okay. Five of Cups in the reverse. So you're still tied to this. You're still emotionally invested in whatever this is. And you're being patient throughout it. Because of the love or the emotions that you have towards this person. With the Hermit card in the reverse, you choose to move on from whatever this is. Because, you know, there's a sadness here, whether it's on your part or their part. But there's that sense of indecision. But you are slowly getting out of your head about this thing. Or at least trying to. 
the emperor in the reverse. So that's your card, guys. So there might be um, a situation where maybe you weren't uh, fully showing the other person how you felt. The emperor in the reverse can outright, and it doesn't have to be you guys. It could be the other person as well. These energies could go either way. But with the emperor in the reverse, this is someone who's either um, just fake, you know, wearing a mask, not letting people know their true intentions. But it could also be somebody who wears their heart on their sleeve. And, you know, in this case, it could be dangerous because this is someone who does not put logic into their thinking. This is someone that's just like, oh, no, I love her. And I don't care how stupid. I don't care if she cheated on me with 15 people. Like, I just love her. You know, it's like that blind, like, no, you're going to hurt yourself if you keep going type love. So it could be either way. Okay. But there's something here that you may not be proud of, but there's still communication here. But you guys could be dealing with an air sign who's kind of cold towards you who may want to give up. Okay. So maybe it's a person switching up on you in the past. Because the last card you have is the Eight of Swords, so it's like you really feel stuck in the situation. You feel unbalanced about it. Whoa. And you feel like you're losing out on something here with the Ace of Cups in the reverse. All right? So we have the uh, Judgment card upright and the Nine of Swords in the reverse. So it's saying, um, for some of you, the best thing to do is not to worry about the situation and possibly to let it go for some of you. Because you have the star card in the reverse, which is losing faith in the situation. But we do have the Ace of Swords behind that. So for some of you, you may be moving away from a certain person. For others of you, I think that you guys are just hashing shit out, you know, talking things out and saying, all right, let's let's do this, but let's cut the bullshit. Like, let's just talk and get through this. Uh, in the present moment, you have the hanged man. So again, there's that sense of limbo being stuck in your head. All right, the world card. So for some of you, this is this is the end to something, okay? And now you're starting a new chapter. For others of you, maybe you argued with your partner, and now you guys are collectively choosing to, uh, you know, to, to work on things. Maybe you guys are dealing with promiscuity. Maybe someone stepped out of the relationship because we have the devil card here, the king of cups in the reverse, which would be indicative of, you know, a player in a sense. Now, this could be a water sign that you're dealing with, or it could just be someone in the relationship that's taking on that energy. But with the Four of Wands, there is a stability that's being built. So something is definitely ending. Something is changing. For some of you, again, it's you rebuilding with this person. For others of you, it's you just rebuilding without this person. But if it's a water sign, you could be trying to build with them and get through whatever bullshit happened. Because there's an injustice here. And you or them is having a hard time moving away. So I feel like you're trying to bring in a new chapter. I feel like you're trying to uh, really solve problems. Because, you know, with the sun card here, there's a clarity to a situation. If there's anything hidden in the dark, with the sun card is coming out. And with all this information coming out, you or your partner could feel a loss here. Okay? Queen of Wands in the reverse. So that's your energy right there. You know, really being upset about a certain situation. Trying and trying, but the ways that you're trying to get through the situation may not be working for you. But it shows that you're slowly going to get what you want. And with the Empress here, there's going to be a new start that comes in. So this could be with your partner. It could be with someone new altogether. Okay. Now moving forward, we have the Seven of Wands. So with the Seven of Wands, you're standing your ground. Five of Wands in the reverse. You don't want problems. You don't want conflict. You don't want arguing. Ten of Swords, but there's a sense of betrayal here. And again, you guys have to move away, but you're having a hard time, but maybe you do drop it. Put the Ace of Wands in the reverse. Okay. To be honest, for some of you, it could be you leaving the relationship. It could have been you that stepped out because... Um, Here, there's something that's stopping, but with the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, sometimes it could mean someone who's a leech and just, you know, draining of energy, and they only think about themselves, but this is also, um, this is also when somebody is single and gets into a relationship, or this could be you reconciling, but if you're reconciling with someone, I don't think it's the person that showed up in the beginning of this spread. I think it might be someone else, and I say that because you're being strong throughout the situation, or maybe your partner, guys, this could be either way. But there's a sense of happiness. There's a sense of moving towards somebody quickly. And with the Knight of Wands in the reverse, this could be you guys talking to more than one person. Okay? And moving in a way that you think is going to be uh, better. 
And we have the Ten of Cups here, which is ultimate happiness, abundance, you know, feeling good. And with the Four of Cups in the reverse, an offer that's accepted. So there's something that's accepted here. There's someone that's heartbroken, but it doesn't look like for most of you that it's on your end. So you may have broken someone's heart in order to go towards somebody else. And it could have been a lover from the past. Eight of Cups in the reverse. So this could be someone that you dealt with before. The magician, yeah. You guys are starting something new. Eight of Pentacles. You're starting something new and then you stop putting effort into something else and you guys seem to be happy at the end of this. Okay? Same exact... I, you know, I, I said this a few readings ago, playing around, but honestly, I could have saved so much time this month and just done one complete reading for everybody. It's the same exact story for all singles and couples. Same exact thing. All right, guys. So as a reminder, um, and I will have your mid-months out very, very soon. Um, I am leaving to New York on the 25th, so I have to have everything out by then. Um, now, in reference to the event, so it's going to be a one-hour time slot. For those of you who are interested, you could bring up to two friends. Um, and the location, the exact location is going to be disclosed only to those who actually purchased the ticket. Now, when you guys do go on the link, it's going to say the 26th and the 27th. It's going to say 9 a.m., but that's just the first slot that's available for both days. So what you guys do is just click it, and then in the description, I update it live, and I show what times are actually available still. So just look at those times. If any of those work for you, you can go ahead and purchase the ticket, and then let me know. Um, if there's a time that you need that's not there, there's something that you need accommodation for, just let me know. I'll try my best to work with you guys. Um, but other than that, I am offering one-on-one -on -one tarot lessons as well. So I'll leave all of that in the description. Uh, excuse me, in the description. And lastly, for those of you who have been looking to get personal readings, um, I am pretty much caught up and I'm saying this to everybody, but my intention is always to try to get things out within five days. But at most, it'll never be more than 10 days just because life happens sometimes and I kind of do everything solo. I'm kind of like my own boss with everything I do in life. So uh, sometimes I get caught up. Like this weekend, I wanted to do so much more, but there was just so much family and I had to choose between work and family. And of course, I'm going to choose family. So, uh, you know, I'm a little behind from what I wanted to do, but things are still working out. But everything still looks good, guys. Um, however this ends, I feel that it's you guys who's going to, you know, feel good at the end of this. Just make sure that you're not stringing anyone along. And if you want to be done with someone, really be done with them. And make sure that that's clear so that you don't have any sort of karmic stuff on the plate for you guys to, you know, hit you in the future. Swayze, stop! All right, guys, I will see you soon with your mid-month readings. I hope to have everything out within the next day or two. Take care.